Welcome back to UBC TV. This is Tim Moss, and we are at the ribbon cutting ceremony in the grand opening of Bronx Co Works. And I am here with Councilmember Rafael Salamanca. Yes, yes. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, what a wonderful day. I love this facility. It's a, it's a beautiful day. It's raining outside, but you know, it's really sun shining here in this, this beautiful facility. To have a, a facility such as this where you have young entrepreneurs or just right. individuals that have business ideas, mm -hmm. cannot afford, a real big office space Absolutely. can come here and rent a space at a very low minimal cost as mm -hmm. low as $250 have access to Wi-Fi have access right. to other entrepreneurs around them where they can share their mm -hmm. uh, their ideas have access to the pantry and just have a, a location where you can have professional meetings mm -hmm. and grow your business it's not something that's very common here in the South Absolutely. Bronx uh, so, so, so to bring something in the heart of the South Bronx here in my council district I am to say the least, very excited mm -hmm. and, and, and very humbled to know that I can go back to my colleagues and say, look what we have here in the South Bronx. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and I love how, I mean, it's for anybody, any small businesses, which will also create a networking as well, where, where one business might be able to help the other and, and work together. This is, I, I love this whole concept. I know that there are other similar facilities around the city, but here in the Bronx, I really feel that there is such an ep economic upswing that this is perfect timing especially for this area which is soon to be completely redeveloped in my opinion yeah you know the the South Bronx we're bringing in affordable housing mm -hmm. as a local representative I am working hard to ensure that all incomes have access mm -hmm. uh, nice. to, to this housing, whether it's low income or working families. We do mm -hmm. not want to displace anyone. But with that, we also have to think about economic growth. Absolutely. Individuals that are that want to start their businesses, and mm -hmm. this is this this concept that Roger came with. Is exactly what the South Bronx needs. Absolutely. And um, you know, I have another uh, location similar to this, more south from my district. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an incubator. So to have two different options here in the nice. South Bronx is it is, is something new to us. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm I'm just very pleased to have this here in my district. Yes, absolutely. Well, I as a small businessman myself, um, just knowing that office space is just so ridiculously overpriced in this everywhere in this city, and this is just such a wonderful wonderful alternative to that. You know, we, we have um, certain areas of another business uh, improvement district that I have mm -hmm. where they're charging $60 a square footage, you know, and it's unaffordable, Absolutely. you know, for startup businesses. Uh, this is this is the right concept. This is what Absolutely. we need here in the South Bronx. Mm -hmm. And I congratulate Roger on, on this concept and for making this a reality Absolutely. for residents of the South Bronx. Absolutely. Now, what, just one other thing that I'm concerned about with redevelopment is what had happened in the other boroughs, which is where the corporations come in and run the small businesses out. I just I I can see that you're very conscious and aware of small businesses and the importance of it because that creates community. And and just to have um, the t the tailor and the dry cleaner and the the smaller mom and pop shops in addition to the Best Buys and the Targets and you know so it, to, it's kind of a fine line or a tightrope to walk to keep that balance between the two. Yeah, here in the South Bronx, we're trying to definitely see how we preserve our mom and pop businesses, right. but we also want to have these other options Absolutely. where where they job their job generators. Absolutely. You know, Roger could have came and just converted this into a chain, you know, sold this to a right. chain store, right. but he 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 thought differently. Mm -hmm. He says, you know what, let's give an opportunity to those mom and pops or those startup, you know, uh, businesses, Absolutely. newer generations that mm -hmm. just need some space where they can start their ideas right. and grow them bigger. Absolutely. So again, I commend Roger for stepping mm -hmm. up to the plate and not just going with the big dollars, but saying, hey, let me see how I can help our local businesses mm -hmm. grow in the community. Yes. Well, Rafael Salamanca, thank you very much. Um, council, I guess I should say Councilman Salamanca, and thank Thank you to you and Melissa Mark Viverito, uh, um, uh, uh, Richie Torres, yes. Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr., just everybody for being in that community frame of mind yeah. because that's basically what the Bronx is. It's, it's a community and it's thriving. It's beginning to really thrive. So I'm very grateful to all of you for that. Thank you for having me. Uh -huh. okay. Good to meet you. It's a pleasure.